Hey guys, my name is Ryan and welcome to Of What Central. If it sounds like I'm trying to be quiet, it's because I am in like the press section of Gamescom, so I don't really want to disrupt any busy people here, but I did want to bring the news to you guys of uh, some of the other stuff that's come out of Gamescom. Apology for some of the background noise that you may hear as well during this video. I tried to record it outside, there was wind, it's very windy outside, and of course anywhere in Gamescom is incredibly loud, so if you hear some, you know, nattering in the background or any background noise, uh, apologies there, but hopefully it shouldn't disrupt the video too much. So the first thing that I really wanted to go over, of course, yesterday we had the new Busan map in Korea we also had the diva cinematic but one thing that I realized and a lot of the community picked up on too is that this map is very similar to a fan made one which was also based in Busan so take a look at this on the background footage uh, that I'm showing you guys this was made by a guy called Joshua Lorente and came out about three months ago that was when the original video came out showing the map there's been videos since then of a walk around time lapse in I do recommend you check out the channel and check out this stuff because it's ridiculous how close this build is to the Busan Blizzard map that came out. It's pretty crazy, of course people might say, oh they just copied this. Um, there's no way to see if uh, Joshua was hired by Blizzard at this point or sold those assets or sold his ideas to Blizzard in that case. Um, I messaged him on Twitter but haven't had a response so far. If I do get one I will let you know. But this was the first thing I wanted to highlight because I think that this is fairly cool, fairly interesting and a little bit weird, bizarre, massive coincidence between these two and I wonder if there's any correlation between the two because this map does look like a section of Busan not the whole map you have the Mecca area and the sanctuary which are very very different but honestly everything else looks like it's a good comparison speaking of sanctuary with the Busan map Achilleos who is the Korean contenders caster actually tweeted a video of a Lego built sanctuary point from the Korean fan festival it looks amazing and no doubt this is a big hint to what is to come between the overwatch and the Lego crossover more stuff maybe some maps that you can build uh, in its full potential but it looks amazing I can't wait to get my hands on some Lego overwatch that's for sure now the general main thing that I really wanted to cover in this video were the balance changes hence why I wanted to talk about the Brigitte nerf as the the main sort of function but before I go on to that I do want to talk about Reinhardt as I feel that that's the biggest impact which is a lot to do with his Earthshatter. So Earthshatter for the longest time has had a lot of consistency problems uh, but they have now been fixed. There's been the visual change too with how the ultimate looks but it didn't behave any differently than it did before. Here are some examples on screen of what it looks like from Reddit. Unfortunately we haven't really been able to play. We have the PTR on our laptops but it's been very difficult to make it work really and get some solid games and gameplay. So these are some really good examples of how the Earthshatter changes have been much more consistent how they're much better and how a greater change this is it's a buff essentially it's a lot of fixes but it puts Reinhardt in a better position however there are some drawbacks a good example of this is the linger effect so for those that don't know earth shatter when it hits the ground for a second just just about a second there's this lingering effect so even if you don't stand in the stunnable area uh, when the hammer hits the ground but if you jump in there half a second later you will get stunned and this has been a big problem for Reinhardt players and people that have played into Reinhardt for the longest time simply because it's a, an unfair mechanic I think it is a bit of a nerf to Reinhardt because it minimizes those amount of shatters that honestly you shouldn't get so um, it's an interesting thing to sort of go into but ultimately I think that these changes are for the best. Now Brigitte, Brigitte is the main one because I feel that people aren't really highlighting this change at all and I think that this is a very hefty nerf in her area. So what has happened, well now when she stuns people with shield bash that are using abilities like Doomfist's Rocket Punch or Reinhardt's Charge especially, it knocks them down but it also knocks her down in a very similar fashion to how a Reinhardt versus a Reinhardt when they charge at one another they both get stunned. They both get knocked to the ground in a similar animation to uh, Earth Shatter where they backside hit the ground basically. Now that happens to Brigitte when she tries to stun again another example on screen of it in motion from the Brigitte main subreddit and this is a big nerf because this is one of the oppressive areas that Brigitte was in. She was very good at being able to stun a Reinhardt trying to uh, charge along or a Doomfist. She almost acted like a flashbang for McCree right when you stunned a Reinhardt he would stop dead in his tracks no matter his momentum and same for Doomfist. Now she gets stunned as well if she's going into them. And I think that this is a huge change that honestly I don't think people are highlighting enough. This is one of Brigitte's strongest areas and I feel now with that change in the game she's in a much uh, less oppressive spot that's for sure. Um, that's just my perspective I feel just on her own like now you start to see a run in 2-2-2 lineups a lot more which I think is healthy. She isn't the strongest support anymore 
anymore, but she's certainly not the weakest too. So interesting changes. I like them. I think they're worth it. Even though I like playing Brigitte, I think that that's a fair change, but it is a drastic nerf in that area. One thing that I failed to mention with Reinhardt actually is that the voice line, the one that we spoke about being a bit unfair because it was the touchdown one from the Summer Game skin, uh, Blizzard are looking into hot fixing that fairly soon according to Scott Mercer. So worth adding, uh, from that was an interview from the Korean Fan Festival. And speaking of which, Jeff Kaplan was actually in an interview talking about the Tobin changes. Uh, so what he said, it's not a great quote, I'll be honest. Some abilities will stay the same and some will change. Now again, this doesn't give us any details on what these changes actually are. It's very vague. It does say and it does suggest that Blizzard know what they want to do with these changes, which I think is very important. It means that we might start to see some headway with some of Tobin's abilities. And no doubt Jeff Goodman either will on the Battle.net forum say what these changes are in a very similar style to Symmetra. Or essentially they will just go onto the PTR with no notice. But expect the Tobin change, I'd say, within the next month or two. I think we're well on our way to sort of seeing some stuff there. But that's everything that I wanted to go over. We still want to do a Q&A on one of the days whilst we're still in Gamescom. Do it from a very interesting position. I don't want to reveal too much. But uh, do let us know in the comments below if you have any questions for us about the games that we played. We played like the Ultimate Spider-Man, uh, Sekiro all sorts of other stuff so if you do have any questions there or about the game about these balance changes do let us know in the comments uh, sorry about any sound problems that we had with this video it was a nightmare to get done if i'm honest but i felt like i really wanted to get this video out to you guys get you the information as it comes out but thanks for watching take care we'll see you next time